Hi, welcome. Architects Yoel Blank and Susie Tashiro wanted to do something different with their tiny beach bungalow. So they put their heads together and bam, industrial chic meets laid back beach. This is the backyard of our house. Since the lot is only 2,000 square feet, the backyard also functions as a parking area. At night, you can come in and you can pull your cars here. One goes here, there's a track this way, and then there's another track at the diagonal. So that during the day, when you're sitting in the bedroom, you can actually see the, the swaying of the feather grass. But come on, this is the back of the house. Let's go over to the front. This house was once a typical bungalow, but Yoel and Susie took it down to the floorboards and rebuilt it as a super modern hideaway. This is a 707 square foot house designed originally for the workmen in Ocean Park. The living and dining rooms are really one space, but function as two separate areas. This is our living space right here. We usually like to sit and um, listen to some music. Over here we have the dining area. We have a picture window right here. In essence, everything that we designed had more than one purpose. Every single space can serve for other things. The kitchen and the dining area are connected. The living room uh, and the area of the entertainment is connected. We have a flat panel TV, and it actually swivels for flexibility of space. So we can actually watch it from the living area, or the dining area, or even sometimes in the exterior patio over there. The floor-to-ceiling windows actually help to extend the space. These two obviously know that light is going to be really important to making their small home feel like an open space. And so every surface lets light in. They've got windows everywhere, or they've got doors that are translucent, and they have skylights. So the whole place is just glowing. We added five skylights. Those five skylights are remotely operated. And the skylights actually are ecological because we have no air conditioning in this house. So when you open the skylights during the summer, the hot air actually goes up and it ventilates to the exterior. I really like the skylights. It helps cool the house down so they don't have to have air conditioners, which makes it far more environmentally friendly. And secondly, it lets more light in and it becomes quite an attractive center point to the whole living room area. Like the rest of the house, the den is full of light, but still feels intimate. We do most of our reading in here. We used two foot by 12 foot panels and they're normally used for greenhouses. We used it on the walls and over here on the ceilings. We also infused the walls with um, fluorescent lights so that it, it illuminates both the walls and the ceilings. Just across from the den is the one and only bathroom in the house. It's a continuation also of the den. White actually tends to reflect light, so it brightens up the space and it makes it feel bigger than it actually is. It's a little funny thing, but a lot of our guests actually feel very uncomfortable using the bathroom here because we have these large windows. But we actually like it because while you're here taking a bath, you can actually have both windows open and you have further continuity of the interior to the exterior. The huge windows continue into the bedroom, which is made to look even bigger with the wall of mirrors. This is the only bedroom that we have in the, in the house. We have concentrated all the storage of the house in this wall. The carpet, it's a mix of different types of carpets that we join together, creating a pattern that it's actually reflected on the mirror and thus creating the illusion of space. Again, we have a huge window and a door that you can step out to the backyard. It's beautiful in terms of the way that they tie the inside with the outside and the use of the color. It really feels like a lively, bright space. We actually love living in 707 square feet. Most what we like about it is that it's ecological and um, there's a conservation of materials. I don't think the house needs to be very big in order to enjoy it. Coming up on Small Space Big Style, a San Francisco woman takes a collective to an extreme on her 400 square foot floating palace. But next, two people and a baby in 350 square feet. They must be crazy.